Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your old router and use it as a Wi-Fi extender. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a router to a switch or an extender, a Wi-Fi extender, a Wi-Fi repeater. So I have my primary router here. It's, um, it's the Linksys Nighthawk. And here's my old router. It's a Netgear router. So in the back of the router, there is um, Ethernet uh, ports. One is the WAN port, and the other four <clears throat> are the Ethernet regular ports. So if you want to use your router as a router, then you would connect your, your modem to this uh, WAN port here. In my, my Netgear router, it's yellow. In color so for the for the sake of this video we're going to close out this um, connection we're not going to use this at all if we want to switch if we want to convert it to a, an, an extender or a switch we're going to only use these any of these four here so before you do anything um, you want to make sure you reset your router to a manufacturer reset um, there's a button here. You can just uh, use the uh, pen and just push the button. Once you push the button, the light should go off. It would bling a couple of times, and it would take a few minutes to come back up. So I already reset my router, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to connect my computer to this router. Here's the uh, Ethernet cable that is currently connected to my computer. There it goes. Let's go to the computer and um, configure your router. All right, let's find out what my router IP address is. Type in CMD. Type in IP config. Look for Ethernet adapter. So it should be this one. So my router IP address is 192.168.0.1. When you reset your router, your password should be, it depend on the manufacturer. The username should be admin and the password should be admin as well. But if you don't know, you can check the back of your router or Google uh, the manufacturer. So the first thing you're going to do is go into the setup. For this Netgear router, I have to go to Advanced. There's a setup here. Go to Wireless Setup. Oops, sorry, I think it's the internet setup. So I want to disable the DHCP. I think it would un be under. Let's go to advanced. Nope. Yep, so it's under LAN setup. You want to make sure you disable the. DHCP server. 
if you already have a router in your in your network and it's already enabled DHCP, you don't want to enable this one. It might conflicts. So let's enable uh, disable that and click on apply. It's updating the settings. It's going to take a few minutes. I'm just going to pause the video for now and then we'll come back once it's finished. All right, look like the uh, DHCP has been disabled. So the next thing you want to check is <clears throat> go under wireless setup. You want to make sure your SSS, SSID or name is the same as your router the same as your main router. So my main router is Cars and Cloud. Cars and Cloud 2G. And this one should, um, let me capital this, capital G. And the 5G, make sure it's Carson Cloud 5G as well. So the channel, you can just configure, um, set it to auto. And everything else should be the same. So the reason you want to change the SSID to match your router, so that way when you have a device and it's disconnect from your primary router, it's going to be automatically connect to your switch here which is your router, your second router, it's converting to a switch or Wi-Fi extender. So make sure these two items are matched. Once that done, you can just click apply. And that's it. That's how you um, convert your router to a Wi-Fi extender, a switch, or a Wi-Fi repeater. Thank you for watching and have a good day.